What's up guys, Jeff is calling here, and I know I finished my Generation 4 review a while back, but I wanted to go and play my Diamond version just to make sure I didn't miss anything for the review. Um, but what I found was I actually did miss a lot of stuff, and I want to take this video to just discuss and kind of rant about things. Well, so my biggest complaint about Generation 4 was the terribly slow game speed. And going back to play the game, I realized I was absolutely spot on about this. But the thing is, it was totally avoidable. Um, so basically, the main problem with the speed is that with every single action or piece of text in a battle, there's a slight pause, which uh, isn't really present in other generations of Pokemon. Like, you click fight, uh, then there's a pause. You select your move, then there's a pause. Text appears, then there's a pause. Move animation, pause. Damage, pause. Text. You get the idea. Um, if Game Freak would have just cut down on these pauses, then the game would have been much more bearable to play. It might have something to do with the hardware, but that's a pretty lame excuse anyways, and not one I'm willing to concede. But that's not the only problem with the speed. Why the fuck is surfing so goddamn slow? Like Jesus Christ, my grandma can swim faster than that. And not only that, but you often run into wild Pokemon while crossing even a small body of water. And this slows your progress down so much, you might as well use a repel whenever you go surfing. I mean, at least the bike in this game is good. But god, the bike music has got to be one of the worst pieces of crap ever produced by Game Freak. Like, I seriously just mute my game whenever I hop on the bike, and this happens quite a bit. It's a shame because I actually do like a lot of the scenic music in the game, but it gets drowned out by the horrid bike music half of the time. Um, one thing positive I will say about this generation though is that they did have great boss music. Fog may very well be the worst in-game mechanic ever. Uh, if you don't know what fog is, basically, your battles take forever because everyone's just missing attacks, which are supposed to have 100% base accuracy, but because of the stupid fog it goes down to something like 60%. You might run out of PP before knocking out the other Pokemon. Don't even try using a move which has less than 100% base accuracy. And not only that, but you have to basically waste the space in your party because everyone's favorite HM slave, Bidu, can't learn defog. So teach it to some stupid bird while carrying your Bidoof and you only have room for four viable Pokemon. And trust me, you are going to need the HMs for this game. I don't know why they felt it was a good idea to sprinkle the environment with stupid rocks and trees for you to smash and cut, which really adds nothing but frustration and contempt for the game designers because then you have to go through the grass, which seems like it's a 50-50 on each step whether you'll run into a wild Pokemon in this generation. Also, that stupid girl in the forest you have to pair up with has the most useless Chansey I've ever seen. Basically, all it's good for is soaking up damage, but instead of attacking, it will heal itself at every opportunity. You are basically fighting 1v2 every battle. Once in a blue moon, Chansey might actually use Egg Bomb, but it hardly ever hits, and doesn't do much when it actually lands. Like, I like the idea that Game Freak had of uh, pairing up with someone and healing automatically, which is pretty nice, but uh, this particular instance was done all wrong in my opinion. Uh, a much better version of this can actually be found when you pair up with that guy on Iron Island, which is Lucario, uh, who can actually hit other Pokemon, he's pretty useful. Oh, and speaking of those double battles, how stupid is it that Surf suddenly, for whatever reason, hits your teammate also? Uh, it's a d pretty dumb feature in my opinion, because you just end up saying fuck it, and plowing your teammate's Pokemon every battle. Uh, like if that trainer were a real person, he would tell you to fuck off. So basically, what I'm saying is, I'm already 15 hours deep into this game, and I feel like I've gone nowhere yet. It's not even because there's so much to the game that it takes a while to complete. Those 15 hours all came from all the pauses and wild Pokemon and just other avoidable things. The routes feel mostly empty and forgettable, um, like adding mud so you can slow down even more and get stuck in it. Yeah, that was a that was an A plus mechanic game freak. Also, I've actually gotten stuck because the game wasn't clear enough about where to go next. Now I know that you that might sound embarrassing, but if I, a grown man who's played Pokemon his whole life, can't figure out what to do next, how is a kid Nintendo's main demographic supposed to? Like, I flew around everywhere on the map and explored everything only to find out after the fourth gym I had to go back and talk to that one grunt who's like staring at a tree outside the safari zone to activate the rest of the quest. 
I just continued on to the routes westward and found nothing. And I finally had to look up what to do next as I was genuinely stumped on what to do. Um, it was pretty annoying. Honestly, the diamond in the shit that is Generation 4, no pun intended by the way, was that I managed to get a shiny Zubat, which I've been using to manage to evolve into a Crobat. And honestly, if I hadn't caught a shiny early on, I wouldn't have continued on this far. Playing this game feels like a chore and isn't even fun. Obviously I'm fuming over a bunch of things, and the only reason I've continued playing is because I'm bored, and I feel like in order to give a more accurate review of this generation, I really needed to refresh my memory and play it again. I don't know how much longer I'll keep going, but it's going to probably stop soon as I don't want to have another Pokemon have to learn Rock Climb and all these other HMs just so I can get through the massive cave, uh, which should be loads of fun. Also, maybe it's just me, or are the gyms really, really easy in this game? Um, like, I've taken maybe 40 hit points worth of damage total in the last 3 or 4 gyms combined. I haven't even healed up afterwards, which is really unusual. So, yeah. This has just been me ranting, and if you've actually stuck around this long, more power to you. Let me know if I'm just an angry idiot in the comments, or if you feel felt the same way about Generation 4. Thanks for watching. See you again.